hey there YouTube um, I've just been building this little circuit and it's one that I found on Talking Electronics it's this one here okay and that's what it's sort of going to look like even though I got a, I got a different type of bulb I'm using this for one. now the strange thing about this is if looking at the circuit look you can see that the um, the capacitor down the bottom left and that 47R resistor is going to be connected to the emitter of this 3055 but whenever I connect it what happens is after a few seconds I start burning up resistors these 47Rs which is the one bridging the capacitor there but, funnily enough, if I take that off the emitter, um, because one side is going to be the feedback, which it is, yeah, and that's this, that's this wire here, if I have the camera points on the right place, that's this wire here, and it comes down, and it comes onto the base here, which is what's supposed to happen. But then this side is supposed to be connected to the emitter. But like I said, even that one's burnt out because I started doing it. Sorry if you can't see that well with this camera. And you see it's sort of burnt out there a bit. But I've just noticed that if I take that off and just connect this. Get that connection just right. It lights up my tube. But I don't have any any smoke. I'm not burning anything up. But it's not actually connected. <laughs> uh -huh. So what's going on there? I don't understand that at all. It's nice to see there's no smoke. So I've got a funny feeling there's a simpler way of building this circuit. I'm not exactly sure, because I, by the looks of it, I think I can just get rid of that capacitor and the, and the resistor. Maybe, I don't know. I honestly don't know, because I'm not quite sure how this is working. I think there's a little bit of magic going on here. But that is definitely working. Look, and you can see the wires. Yeah. And they're going to the output of this little transformer. Now, this is 500 turns. Um... And then the primary is here, this chunky wire going to the positive. And the primary comes to the collector on the on the thing there. The negative side of the power supply, which is just coming off that connection there, which is just there, look, and we're pulling 1.2 amps, nothing else is on on this. And I suppose. If I turn, if I add less of a voltage. Anyway, just don't want to think about that at the minute. I'm just trying to work out then if this isn't connected, which it's supposed to be, as you can see, look, to the emitter, and it's just hanging off. But we've still got our negative connection on the emitter, and the positive connection is connected basically here that's where the positive connection is connected and then the, just the negative is going on to the emitter but this is hanging off this isn't connected now it's just not doing anything but it still works I don't know I don't know what's going on um, so but I just thought I'd show that. It's supposed to use, uh, when driving a 5 watt CFL, um, about 250 milliamps. Um, so, you know, that's it. It's not, it is actually using it more than that. You know, just to get a, and it is quite bright. I mean, it's not terribly bright, as you can see, but. But it is lighting up. 
So bright lights, and they can turn the light back on. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I don't think anything will happen if I touch that, but I'm not going to. And I'm certainly not going to put my fingers on the end of here because this thing's probably well with the 12 volts going in. There's a 10 to 1 transformer. Uh, is that right? I got 10 turns, then I got 500 turns. Oh, sorry, 50. To t yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 to 1. So it's a 50 primary and um, 500 secondary. Uh, so 12 volts going in, like 120 volts, but. Hmm. I had this version before, I had it before connected up correctly and it worked. But now, whenever I'm doing it, um, I seem to just be burning these. And although it's not actually breaking them, it's the smell. Well, I suppose you're supposed to be breathing it in order. So. Um, but that's quite strange, isn't it? So I'm wondering now if I actually just took these off out of this altogether. And so you just got the chip, the resistor, and the transformer. Whether it still work. Let's give it a go. Um, okay, so it does. I've literally just un unconnected this and it still works. Uh, slightly warm. So that's just the transformer. The 1K. A 1k resistor between the feedback and the primary and then the other side of the primary onto the collector and the other side of the feedback onto the base and the negative to the uh, the emitter of the transistor it's a kind of magic I got no idea what's going on <laughs> but anyway I'll just share that with you and uh, if anyone's wants to get any ideas, leave them in the comments below. That'd be great if you uh, can. I think I've simplified that circuit. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'm going to get the old. I'm going to get the, the the bigger tube on there and see if it works as well. Still pulling the same ampage, but it, it would do it. I couldn't see why it would change just because I've taken that out. Because really, it's just sat on the end. It's not actually doing anything. It's just just sat there. I thought maybe there'd be some magic going between it, you know. But I sewed up since then, so that's <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell's going on? Anyway, like I said, any comments in the in the uh, in the in the in the comment section? It's uh, interesting to say the least. So there we go. Oh, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that's just wrapped on some ferrite core uh, with some tape in between. Uh, the, the actual ferrite rod itself, and the um, and the, uh, and the and the wire and the magnet and magnet wire, uh, just to insulate it. Strange but true. Thanks for watching. Bye.